I didn't set out to be evil in Fallout 4, honest. The problem is, the wasteland is a hard place for hard, ruthless people, and also I was curious what would happen. A few hours into the game, it's not as if I've had the chance to nuke an entire town a la Fallout 3, but all the same, I've clocked up some bad karma in my own minor evil ways. So here are the bad deeds on my rap sheet so far in Fallout 4. The only spoilers ahead are quite minor and from the early game, but if you want to come to Fallout 4 completely blind, then look away now. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. Among the conversation options in Fallout 4 are replies with the general label sarcastic to indicate the snarkiest, least helpful, and most smart-ass response. A free paper? Sounds like quality. Unfortunately, sarcastic is used as a kind of general catch-all term for both sassy comebacks and robot racism. <sighs> Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory? No, I skipped that part of the orientation. It's our beloved robotic private eye pal Nick Valentine who gets the sharp end of these anti-synthetic slurs. What? The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Yikes! What's wrong with you, me? Speaking of abusing friendly robots, one of the first things I did on emerging from Vault 111 was be rude to hovering butler ball droid Codsworth. They only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. I like these people already. I know, I know, and I still feel guilty about it. In my defense, I was probably all hangry and irritable after not having eaten anything for like 200 years. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Fresh out of the vault at the start of Fallout 4, you've got not a lot more than a pit boy, a pocket full of rad roach meat, and the blue and yellow onesie on your back. Except you've also got your wedding ring and your spouse's wedding ring. Now, civilization might have fallen, but money still makes the irradiated world go round, and there's no faster way to make an easy 500 caps than pawning both rings to the first vendor you come across. It's what Mr. Wanderer would have wanted. I'm coming, sweetheart. You probably think I'm pretty heartless, but would a heartless bastard scrap their baby's crib and adorable baby mobile just to salvage a few sticks of wood? Yes! Oh, right. I don't think we've met. You know how in The Sims it's only a matter of time before you build a swimming pool just so you can see your Sims die from a lethal lack of swimming pool steps? In Fallout 4, it was only a matter of time before I built a cage with a generator and a Tesla mine just so I could see what happens to an NPC in a cage with a generator and a Tesla mine. Oh, damn. He's a robot, he loves it. He runs on electricity, probably. It's all in the name of science, and obviously the science of radiation poisoning was in a sorry state before the war, which is why I need to build a cage in the centre of a radioactive pond to see what happens to an NPC in a cage in the centre of a radioactive pond. I'm researching the cure for radiation poisoning, all right? Nice. Once I'd spent the money from the sale of those wedding rings, <clears throat> the logical next step was to steal the precious few belongings from the innocent inhabitants of Diamond City. Yes, they have it hard enough without a sarcastic stranger burglarising their rusty shacks, but how liberating is it going to be to own literally nothing? You're welcome. We'll lower our weapons, alright? Just don't do anything crazy. Now hand over your money. Once I'd stolen everything that wasn't nailed down in Diamond City and everything that was nailed down and the nails, the logical next step was to extort caps from the debt-collecting thugs, honest merchants, and everyone in between. Your money. All of it. Now. Yeah, yeah. I know the drill. This ain't my first mugging. Who's gonna argue with this charisma stat? No one is who. Now everyone, give me your lunches. That's right. Hey. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a friendly companion character in possession of no bullet holes must be in want of getting shot. In the spirit of scientific experiment and with an overriding sense of natural curiosity, I had to shoot Dogmeat real quick just to check whether he was killable. I was just checking! You're a monster! That's what quick save is for! Boo. I'm not proud of it. Boo. 
Those were the several minor infractions that will lead eventually to our fully going over to the dark side in Fallout 4, I bet. Thanks for watching. Tell us how bad you've been in Fallout 4 and how guilty you feel about it. Like this video if you liked it and come on back for more Fallout 4 on Outside Xbox. Let's see what Andy was going to have for lunch before I got his lunch. Um, got, oh, some, some beans, pork and beans, delicious. Some iguana bits. And, uh, oh, a little toy. It's a little Brotherhood of Steel Man. That's the surprise toy that, um, that Andy packed in his lunch. Delicious. Um, and while I enjoy this, you should enjoy some more Fallout 4 videos from outside Xbox, which you can catch right now in the two windows below me in this third window. So you do that and I will um, figure out how to get this can of beans open. And uh, I'll see you next time on Outside Xbox. You can craft a tin opener out of sticks. And Slash it on Nick Valentine's head. Yeah. Shut up, who brings a can of beans for lunch, Andy? Well, I mean, I didn't think anyone was going to look in my lunchbox or Steve. Well, how are you going to eat them? Just in you don't need an opener for. Smash oh! Cameraman oh, James. James has pointed Gen out the floor. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> We're like. <laughs> Why don't you point out it's not my real lunch? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was weird that you'd brought like plastic dinosaurs for lunch. It's not my real lunch, James. <laughs> <laughs> Exposed. The Andy diet. It's plastic dinosaurs. <laughs> plastic dinosaurs and beans. So that's how he stays so trim. <laughs> that's how he stays so trim.